we talk about Chang Yi 4 Moon Rover today. This Chang Yi 4 is a Chinese rover for the moon and it's going to the far side of the moon. Why far side? I will tell you why. The other preparation, as you see the far side, the main, uh, moon is facing always the same side to the earth. So if you go to the far side, it's behind the moon. So you cannot communicate. Okay. So China did a preparation for that. It's August 18, China launched the uh, Long March 4C and send the relay satellite called uh, Kuejiao relay satellite. Okay, that's deployed to the L2 point. L2 point is behind the moon. It's a gravity stable point. And this satellite circle vertically around the L2 point. So it can see both moon and earth all the time. Okay, as you see, this is a picture from this uh, relay satellite. This is the moon and earth. So using this relay satellite, they can even communicate between rover and the lander. So rover can go over the hill still has a good communication with Lambda because it doesn't go directly from rover to Lambda. Okay? And this Kui Chao, the meaning is uh, the birds, magpie birds, and the uh, Chinese uh, fairy tale, the Cheng Yi is a lady who came from mo immortal land to the earth and married with this guy, the archer. And uh, he became famous fixing the sun by Earth, uh, Arab, and he became the local governor. <coughs> but he got someday immortal medicine, which she took to go back to the immortal world. Okay, and he he chased her. She start flying to the moon, and Urcha shot the uh, arrow to her but didn't reach so she went back to the moon but they want to see each other once a year and they need a bridge to cross to meet that uh, I think July 7 or something they have a festival and uh, magpie uh, birds bring the material necessary to, to make the uh, uh, the bridge and that's this is the uh, relay satellite okay and when china sent the relay satellite to the l2 point it's also sent together two uh, micro satellite uh, longjian one and longjian two to circle around the uh, moon for various uh, measurement and china is bringing uh, equipment those uh, measuring equipment uh, the offered by the cooperated nation like a uh, german uh, netherlands uh, saudi has one too um, so several measurement equipment the china carry those and saudi the camera got the first picture of the earth from the from the moon so um, chain for rover and the landers lander looks like this and rovers look like that now this one has great improvement over chain three the one it went to the near-sided moon last time first of all lander has the new technology for vertical landing chain e3 couldn't do it, chain three, circle around and gets, you know, smaller and smaller and finally landed. But chain four has enough fuel to do vertical landing. So when it's arrived to the moon, immediately go to the landing uh, position. That's all computer control. 
and it's almost impossible with our computer to do that kind of running. So, and also, um, Chang'e three's lander carried the uh, telescope to see the space from the uh, near sided near sided of the moon. The this lander for Chang'e four carry many instrument and has a technological improvement. Now, very interesting experiment is they bring a, a small ecosystem in a enclosed box and basically it's the vegetable and the egg of the silkworm and this silkworm supposed to hatch and egg come out and eat the leaf and generate the carbon dioxide and the leaves glow with carbon oxide so small ecosystem is tested out the uh, you never know under low gravity uh, inference see what's happened that experiment and also there's some ex experiment uh, instrument is to measure the uh, very small microwave from outer space which we cannot do on earth because so many microwave going around the radars radios and all kind and all, almost impossible to do but other side of uh, far side of the moon those signal is shut off so it's very quiet and clean environment they do measurement from the outer space and rover apparently has a nuclear battery this time because it said it can operate during the night and Chang'e 3 stopped and slept during night to charge up the uh, solar cell again but this time they said they, they don't have to the even nighttime is keep working so this robot is gonna keep working 24 hours and the most important thing so why go to the uh, far sided according to the result of chain 3 the near sided near side uh, sided moon is made of all light material like calcium um, and it doesn't make sense to have that much uh, weight uh, the average weight is much heavier than those light material that means the far side has a lot of concentration of heavy material like you know gold uh, mercury all the way to uh, uranium and cobalt that kind of heavy material and so the right now the um, the assumption is moon is made of two different celestial body the light rocks and the heavy rocks okay so why go to the far side this time to check what kind of material on the heavy rock side okay so this is a continuation of uh, the moon exploration right now chain 3 explored everywhere on the light rock side chain 4 rover is gonna explore a heavy rock side the moon is made of two different material and in the future they are planning chain 5 already ready to go and chain 5 is going to uh, get the sample and bring back okay so what happened is uh, chain e 5 b i believe already did the test going to the moon and come back to the earth so so you know they can come back to the earth and the land safely that experiment has been done so this time uh, next time the chain 5 is going to combine chain 4's experience with chain 5 bit experience means they go to the moon land collect a sample and come back okay so and also uh, they are planning to use the same landing technique uh, to send the robot to the mouse okay and don't tell me that you drop the robot 
rubbed with balloons and roll it down and stuff. I mean, this they they do the correct technological way to do the landing. Okay, there's no atmosphere, almost the less than one percent atmosphere on the Mars, and anything drop, parachute doesn't slow down, and if keep dropping, the speed is going to be hypersonic and crash onto the ground. Doesn't matter balloon or anything, it's just crash it. So you need some kind of com computer control landing uh, technology. Okay, so that's all about chain four coming this November. 2018 I believe I hope you enjoyed this video so please check out the videos we have many interesting videos created for you